This video is RF cable and antenna surge protection. So what happens during a power surge on an RF cable or antenna? Most of these power surges are caused either by static electricity or by nearby lightning. So I understand why I should be concerned about lightning, but why should I be concerned about static electricity? Well, they are very similar. Static electricity is the buildup of an electronic charge on an object very similar to how lightning is formed. If you ever rubbed your feet across the floor and then touched a doorknob, you've experienced static electricity. The same goes true outside. There's static electricity everywhere. The object of a surge protector is to dissipate that static electricity before lightning strikes. And while we're all familiar with the sound of lightning, if you listen to your personal electronics, it sounds something like this. And I'm sure everybody's experienced this, middle of a lightning storm, and all of a sudden, for a brief second, you don't have any signal on your cell phone. That's due to a static surge. So how can I prevent lightning and static electricity? Well, if you have cable internet service and TV, or an antenna on your roof, or on a tower, you need surge protection. A cable surge protector looks something like these. The one on the left, for amateur radio use, the one on the right would be for cable television or cable internet service. First, about amateur radio antennas. The cable coming down from your tower should go into a box similar to this. My preference is to put a big copper strap behind it and then have the surge protectors connected to the big copper strap. There's all kinds of different ways of doing this. The whole principle is to keep the surge protection outside. Even a ground rod like this can provide surge protection for your cables. And if you have to, you can use a big copper bar like this right near the area of the radios. There's a lot of different manufacturers of surge protection or ham radio equipment, including Polyphaser, Alpha Delta, and Elcom. There are also some lower power devices as well. So when you pick out your surge protector, make sure it'll not only cover the frequencies that you're operating on, and also have the power rating that you desire. When it comes to RF equipment, not all surge protection is the same. And when it comes to the internet cable, there's surge protection for that as well. Again, Polyphaser and Elcom are at the top of the heap, as well as TII. There's other manufacturers as well. Surge protectors will not protect us against all static electricity and lightning, but it does a pretty good job. With all the electronics in our homes today, Surge protection is a pretty inexpensive way to protect it. I hope this video has been helpful. And 7-3 from N9LVS.